Hey guys, it is me, DJ Zay Guitarist, and I'm with my sister. Eliza Guitarist. And in today's video, we really don't know how to start it or even where to even start because this video could be days long at this point. But we're just pretty much going to sum it up for you guys. And this video is not to really throw hate to anybody, to get anybody counseled or anything. But we just want to tell y'all from our experience, from me being friends with this person for over a good five years. It's been a while since I've known this person. I know the real this person. And what you guys fail to see is that y'all see somebody off of a 60 second video and think you know somebody. Whenever you truly hang out with a person or meet somebody, then you get to know the real person. So, like I said, I don't know where to start. This is going to be a raw video, but I don't know where to start. So, um, we're only making this video because Josiah had spoke to her a um, couple of hours ago and then we thought everything was good, everything was squashed, so we thought we took a nap and woke up, well somebody's calling me saying that they're mad because they're trying to defend me, but she's mad because they're defending me and she was continue talking about us after we already said that was it so um my like our family is calling everybody is so confused because if you guys really know us like y'all know like i feel like my mom always tells us all the time she says we we don't we portray ourselves on the internet a whole different way than how we are in real life. Meaning like Josiah, him, him, his whole personality on on TikTok, if you were to know him in real life, y'all know that he doesn't act like that. If you were to meet him in real life, y'all know how down to earth he is. Y'all know how much of a sweetheart he is. Y'all know like you know what I mean so but, it's like he only feeds into him saying that he has like all this money and he's rich because that's, that's what y'all paint me to see that's what y'all paint me as and like us faking the whole lifestyle stuff all of that is just it, it's insane because you've been a part of our lifestyle you've seen our lifestyle with your own two eyes and I can even put baby pictures up of me always wearing designer and stuff like that so we're not the type to talk about money because we know what it is to come from nothing. We know when when we, we know what it is to have money and to not have money. Like we're we're people, we're humans. Like people are gonna struggle. Like people have real life problems. Like you know what I mean. So it's like we never talk about nobody's financial incomes. Like I don't even know how that's even the main topic right now. Like financial incomes. Like out of anything else. Like somebody's like living like somebody it doesn't make no yeah. sense like at all so it's like i okay first of all i didn't want to say nothing you, okay this person has been coming and has been saying stuff about me for weeks now y'all know y'all know exactly who she was talking about the minute that i decide to clear my name on live which was one time i they everybody starts attacking me Oh, it's true. It's true. It's true. Like I'm just uh, like, and I didn't say anything after that. Even people are still coming at me, still this and that. Like I didn't. I let it be, and I told Josiah, Josiah, don't feed into it. Like she just wants a reaction. Don't feed into it. Don't feed into it. But but it's him, getting... he takes social media way more serious than I take social media. I told her, I could delete the app. I don't. It's not that I don't care about it, but I rather choose peace than like dealing with people that don't even know me don't even know my real life you only know what y'all see i only know what i exactly. put on the internet exactly. so it's like he takes it more serious than i do so it, i'm not saying that i'm not gonna take it serious from like months weeks years from now on because i have a platform but i'd rather just choose my peace my happiness i'm trying to fix myself i'm trying that's why i didn't want to speak about it i didn't want to I don't like the drama. I never internet beefed. I never. We've been on social media for how long now? And y'all never seen us in no drama. Well, him. I've been on social whatever, media for a good over five years. I've been friends with this person before social media. So it's like nobody got nobody famous. I've been had my name. I've been made a, a name for myself. 
I'm self-made and it's been like this. I don't know if y'all remember, I had multiple TikTok accounts that got banned and banned and banned and all of them had over 100K, over five, half a million. Like I've been DJ Zaggy Terrorist for a while now. And for the fact that all of my followers are switching up because everybody's in that person's live, that person's comments and click on the profile, follow back. And it's just like, what? Like, I don't understand how y'all can sit here and keep defending somebody that continues to be in drama, keeps fiending for it. Because did y'all forget how this person even had a name? The person got a name off of drama. The person kept throwing shade to my sister for months, even while they were friends. My sister would sit here and post a quote. This person will sit here and diss the quote. And some people had peeped it already before. They're like, y'all peep it. Y'all like, oh, she's talking about Eliza. Oh, Eliza. Oh, Eliza. Oh, Eliza. But I thought we were friends. Like, I thought we were good friends. I thought we were genuine friends. Like, I thought we had a good friendship, you know? So I was just like, y'all don't even know what y'all talking about. Like, whatever. Like, this and that. But that's going to be later on into the story time. Josiah, we're going to start from the very beginning as to how he met her, how this, how that, so y'all can How get a the feel. whole friendship came about. So y'all can get a feel of, um... A feel on where we're starting out from, right? And, oh, wait, I want to say one more thing. Um, I don't know if, like we said, we don't know how to start this video, so if we're all over the place, this is a raw video. We're just trying to clear our name now. And... I know it's two against one. Actually, it's like two against like all her followers. But, but it, yeah. It we we were all friends, but we had separate friendships within our friend group, if that yeah. makes sense. He had her own, they had their own friendship. I had my our we had our own friendship. We had a whole friendship together. We so and and I didn't like I said I didn't want to I not because I'm scared not because whatever but I like I said I actually choose my peace I actually am trying to heal I'm actually I don't want the drama I, I don't so he's gonna well before we actually get started from the beginning and, the main reason why we're making this video too is because we had we texted in private we were trying to take it out in peace the way this person came at me, that's not the way you come at somebody. You don't sit here try to blackmail somebody. Try to sit here down talk on somebody. And like I said, we're going to get into that later in the video. But the reason why we're making this video is to clear a name like she said. Like she said, literally. So, huh, dang. Like 2016, 2017, which is like a good five, six, maybe almost seven years ago. Me and this person, we... We live all on the same side of town. We literally live like 10 minutes from each other. So, you know, like this person went to another high school, but it was the high school was still closed. So somehow we just all came about. This is before social media, before the high fame. School. I mean, middle school, middle school, middle school. Sorry. But this is before the social media. This is before all the fame. This is before anybody was known. So, you know, we just texted because we just were friends. Like I, we just became friends. I don't know how we became friends. We just became friends. So... I didn't actually meet this person until maybe like a few weeks later. We went to a quince and that's when that's us officially meeting. And then whenever we finally were done with middle school, we all went to high school together. We all went to high school together. So that's what brought all of us even more closer. Eliza and her, they always had like... Say your side of the story. Say y'all friendship and I was saying my friendship with her. So anyways, so... um. Wait, actually, because it's going to have to... It, I'm going to have to get into it a little bit because while they were friends, stuff would still be, be brought up about me. Yeah. Okay, so sorry, but say don't be jumping into, like, like say from the beginning to the end. Well, yeah, so, um, so whenever we were in high school, you know, we were all friends. Not Eliza, it was just mainly me and this person, but Eliza was cool with people that person was cool with. So, you know, obviously when you're cool with people that's all around you you're gonna just like you're just automatically you're no he he's he's thinking about a whole other time this was this was like not whenever like we weren't we weren't cool for like whenever like we weren't cool like what i'm trying to say Pretty much, we, we all went to school together, so we all seen each other every day and stuff like that. I had already graduated whenever we became close, so I wasn't even in high school, that's what I'm trying to say. No, but that's what I'm saying, but y'all never even knew each other and there was already tension between y'all. No, we knew each other. Knew of each other, that's didn't what I'm know saying. each other. It's gonna, it's gonna be all over the place because we had different, like, friendships within, like, our, like, you know, so it's gonna, it's, okay. 
I consider this person more like I guess more like a sister or something because how close we were yeah. and stuff like that and then towards the ending which y'all know like a few years maybe like the past two years we spent every day with each other so it's like it was more like I guess more like of a more of like a sister more than an actual friend mm -hmm. so we were in high school together and stuff like that and we pretty much we were just like you know high school friends we would text here and there we never went out with each other that was ninth grade this person was in 10th grade and then covid happened okay I, that's where we're at right now so covid happened nobody went to school until i didn't go to, back to school until 11th grade because i was homeschooled the whole years mm -hmm. while i was homeschooled me and my sister started our own business this is our first business this is what like 20, 2019? No, no, I'm gonna stop you right there because I'm gonna answer game right now. So, okay, high school, okay, cool. Me and her had, they're probably like, did you just say you're not gonna say anything? I know. Okay, but y'all gonna see why I'm saying this right now. So, me and her had, like Josiah said, we had tension, okay, because something. We don't want to bring other people into it, okay? But basically, we had tension to each other because she was trying to stick up for her friends or whatever. And <clears throat> cool, by all means, do that. So, this is whenever we were starting TikTok too. But wait, was this? Okay. I had been started TikTok. I had already had followers and stuff like that. So, this is whenever, I guess, I, I started blowing up in ninth grade okay, maybe like no, no, no. the ending of eighth grade or something like that but i had a few followers but during covid that's whenever i like skyrocketed okay but I, no no i'm saying like whenever we had tension and her and josiah were really close friends like i even told josiah i'm like josiah why are you being friends with people that don't like me and he's like because if it was up to you i would be friends with nobody because you don't like nobody but no it's not that i don't like nobody people don't like me because i don't i don't know i don't do nothing to nobody like i i don't so um she had made a video like it, it's just it was it was more pettiness up. it's little things adding up that's like we should have seen it from the jump. jump but we were trying to give her the time and the day like i'm talking about this is years ago you know but whatever so she made a video obviously about people me. grow and people change but in this situation that's what we had we had hope that she would change yes but we in this situation hope. the person changed to the look of the eye but not in real life People, you can still change, baby. Like, I'm not trying to sit here and say, like, oh, you're not changed. You changed by the look of the eye, but you have not changed. Like, you didn't you, grow up. The real you hasn't changed. You didn't grow up. You know, like, so we were leaving lunch one day. This is going back whenever. This right before, right before we left in, after ninth. I was in ninth grade. Person, in yeah. So this is right before we got spring break, because that's whenever we never went back because of COVID. So we were leaving lunch or whatever, and this person makes like a little video, kind of like I don't even know what kind of video it was. There's like a little video, like like sneak dissing. So this video has a whole bunch of pictures of girls that this person does not like and has beef with, and this person's like just like just like look, and shows me the video, and I'm watching it, and I'm just like watching it, and I see my sister in there. At this time, this person's like I don't do with all that childish stuff, yada yada yada. My sister don't even talk to you. My sister, y'all just know of each other. Y'all don't know each other. So I look at the person and I say, you're childish as fuck. You claim you're not childish, but you're, you're sitting here bringing somebody up that don't even know you. That y'all don't even know each other. So that just that just showed a lot to me. And I should have, to be honest, I should have cut it off right then and there. But I didn't. So I, I checked the, I checked the situation and... Um, it, he got up and it he was walked like away. that. I got, got up and, up I got up and walked away. I said, that's childish as and fuck, bro. And she was bro. like, Josiah, like, no, like, whatever, like... Yeah, so, y'all, I don't, this really does hurt me, so if I, like, start, like, in some situations, because some of this shit gets deep. So because if they I, were, like, this. If they I, were, like, this with each other, literally. That's why he feels it more than I do, because I expected it, because what I, y'all gonna see why I expected it. Well, that little thing, it just tells y'all everything, really. You know, but, like I said, we had hope this person would change, so... Okay. I genuinely love this person so much. Like to this day, I even try. I we talked about it, and we were gonna let it go. I took a three-hour nap. I wake up, and it's still going on. You're still fiend, You're still feeding for it. I don't really care for anything, but I told you to delete it. If not, I was gonna make a post. So it's like, and I mean, I don't really care. Like. 
people are still going to think it's about me and they're going to come back and tell me stuff. Which I told you, I don't like looking stupid, so that's why I posted what I had to post. But if you would have deleted it, then I would have never posted anything. So that's what the whole issue of, is about. Eliza and all the other stuff, I don't care about none of that. Like, I don't get nothing to talk to her about, like, I don't care for none of that. You know what I mean? So it's like, whatever. And I never said Eliza and Josiah owe me money or whatever. I've like I said, I've had multiple broke friends. So if you took it, if y'all took it that way, then that's the way y'all took it. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh no, I didn't mean it for you. Like, no, I'm not no bro, I'm not doing that. Like and I've seen you sneak this in before, which is why I removed you, like I told you. So it's like, come on now, like and then you said if I had a problem I would have texted you privately. Okay, which I did. And I told you to delete it, you didn't delete it, so, I mean. You're texting people that are literally trying to protect us, coming at them, and it's like, what are you even doing right now? Like, I did not want to make this video only because I love this person so much, even though what this person has done to me and stuff like that. I'm just such a loving person and I hate to talk down like, on somebody because you know I, I feel like God could do his work. I don't need to sit here and talk down on anybody, financial, anything about anybody because I didn't put them on this earth to talk about them. Y'all, that's why, like, y'all don't know me as a real person. Y'all don't know nobody as a real person. This whole entire social media industry is literally all fake. Nobody acts like that. Off them 60 second videos, they don't act like this in real life. Like, they really don't. So, anyway, so I got mad and I left. And I was like, you're fake. Not I didn't say you're fake. I was like, that's childish. I got up and left or whatever. Went back to went back to school, like, maybe, like, a few weeks later. Well, and we, wanna, we, wanna, we were good. I want to put an input into it, though. Because she, even whenever she was in the hospital recently, um, Josiah was so quick to say, I want to go take her flowers. After she was already, like, I think she already cut me off. She was already sneak dissing. She was sneak dissing me. And then, um... Josiah was like, I want to take her flowers. And I'm like, Josiah, she's literally talking about us on the internet. And I know you're probably going to say, well, the shoe fit. The shoe literally fit. Because as you soon as we stopped, as soon as she stopped talking to me, she's there. She goes, started posting. And she's talking to us about him. Like, what? So then I told him, Josiah, she's literally talking. Mess like, what are you doing? And he's like, but I'm just thinking, if it, I'm just thinking about it. Because like, if it was one of us, like, whatever, he's like, he's like, um, he cares for her. Even after, like, she... I even texted even right the now, person to this day, like, I have, like, once you put this video out, he's still... I feel like he's going to be hurt because they were literally best friends. Literally. So, it's like... You know what I mean? Like, you don't treat your friends like that. And people, like, people think that because she can't keep friends, that the, the people that she used to be friends with are the problem. Have you ever sat back and have y'all ever thought, well, maybe she's the problem? Why can't she keep no friends? Well, how come she cuts off everybody that comes into her life? Y'all really think that somebody's really that perfect? No. So, okay, I don't even, okay, so COVID happens. We start our business together. It was called the Guterres Customs. We were the only ones our age that had a business that was booming that big. Booming. Booming. To the point where we had to quit it because that's how it's super too, it was up on like to the point it was affecting our health because we would stay up for so many days trying to get everything under control and this is COVID time so we couldn't hire an assistant we couldn't have family come over because COVID was extremely bad and why would we put people's lives in jeopardy for some money so me and my sister made the hard decision to go ahead and close that business and for the real ones that know know us they know us from the beginning they know us before and social media, we built like, ourselves from the bottom up. No drama, never getting into. Not, now Josiah is. I don't know what the hell's going on. And now I'm not getting into drama at all. The uh, like, I'm not even gonna bring up the other topic because that topic is out the window. If I'm being talked about, I'm gonna address it. And as he should, because he needs to clear his name. Me, on the other hand, you could. I've always been like this since middle school, since what high school. If you're talking about me, continue talking about me. I don't care. I, as long as I know what I do, I, as long as I know what I do, as long as I know I have a good heart, pure heart, I'm good to everybody around me, even people, even my haters. Baby, I sleep wonderful at night. I don't have nothing weighing on my shoulder. Like, oh my God, somebody's gonna, like, I don't have nothing on me because I live a good life. I'm true to myself. I'm true to everybody. So, like, I, I don't care. I don't, and like I said, we wouldn't have made this video 
I wouldn't I didn't even want to make this video like it's I still don't even know we still don't even know what to say like where to start like it's just too much so like I said this video is all over the place like guys we're not we're not like this is a raw video this is raw so it's just we're we're if anything we're more surprised we're more flabbergasted we're more, we're more taken back we're more we're like, hurt we're more hurt, hurt over the situation than we are like mad at the situation because like I'm telling y'all, we're going to put some screenshots and stuff like that. This situation could have been ended three hours ago. This situation could have been ended a long time ago if it was addressed directly to us. Y'all think because somebody says this is not towards directly to somebody. But whenever you're the only person that goes out to the club and y'all the only ones that are out and that's your only friend at the moment. You know the whole industry or everybody that watches you is gonna know who you're talking about. Y'all knew from the jump who this person was talking about. Y'all knew from the jump who she was talking about. And then the minute that I opened my mouth one time, I'm the bad person and y'all don't see no wrong into what she's doing. Like it that like what? So we're gonna go back, we're gonna backtrack. So our business was booming, we closed it or whatever. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because we had a business when nobody else had a business. Right? We're the first young ones to have our own business. It was not good, like first, I said. But Maybe not the first, but like in the situation. So Oh in the um, situation, yes. Yes, in the situation, yes. Not maybe not the first, but in the situation, yes. So whatever. COVID happens, you know, I'm still in high school and stuff like that. So we linked up one time, we all went to downtown, we rode scooters and stuff like that. You know, we all did TikToks together never posted them it was like we were just chilling even though her and my sister they had beef back then and stuff or well, okay, little drama into, like. they had little drama back then and stuff my sister overlooked the fact and she was like you know what like maybe the person changed let's go out let's have a good time tonight so you know we all made up downtown because she did apologize to me. yes they did apologize and, and I, stuff I, like I'm that. gonna say what happened between us because... you can start it because it starts there starts there like start stay white like just talk about that situation because okay. we're at the scooters part you already made up there okay so like i said she was trying to defend her friends which is cool by all means okay and then um we had went out to 15 together and this is our first time if we're speaking to her actually josiah josiah introduced us properly eliza this is lena lena this is my sister eliza and we were good like he he literally like we were with each other the whole night and Josiah was just by himself like I don't know where he was but me and her like we were you know we were good and so keep in mind that her friends or it wasn't even really her friends it was somebody that she was cool with their friends but whatever like I don't want to get people into it so like these girls wanted to jump me and stuff okay and so she was with me the whole entire night i thought we were having a good time you know like i had a good time and so um somebody keeps i don't know if i was getting text messages or i don't know but i ended up finding out that the girls were there and they wanted to jump me okay so i'm by myself like i guess i'm with her but I, this is my first time meeting her like i don't know if she like of course she's gonna stick up for her friends you know like whatever so um I don't know if I texted Josiah or texted my mom. I think I texted Josiah. And I'm like, Josiah, where are you at? And so, whatever. And then, um, this happened on a Saturday, okay? And then, on a Monday, like, all, all of those girls start posting about me on Snapchat on Monday morning. Monday morning. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, whatever. And then, um, they were saying, I don't know if it was lena that was saying that i was hiding under a table they were just, was they were being her, ridiculous when i was literally. with her the whole entire night like under a table is crazy to me hiding under a table is insane um and they were saying that i was scared and lena was all like yeah she was texting her mom this and that and i was like i was texting my brother in case y'all wanted to jump me like i'm not gonna get put a, put a hold the there hospital, like put a hold there me and my sister have literally been bullied ever since we started school. Whole life. We're not trying to sit here and make you guys feel bad for us. But this is something that we've struggled with even to this day. But to this day, we learned, okay, you have a name. Speak up. So, this whole... This is all cyberbullying right now. Like, literally. But we know how to do this. But whenever it's literally, like, everybody against, like, us. It's like, are y'all serious right now? Y'all... 
y'all you, you think this is a princess? Like, nothing happens? Like, what are you even talking about? Y'all hold this person up so high. high but y'all, y'all are delusional. Y'all are delusional. Because y'all don't, y'all see what this person, like, is been doing, has been doing. Like, anyway. <sighs> So, so that was like um, yeah, so she was like they were talking to us or whatever and I was like never did we say we were gonna fight never did it go into more into detail never none of that it was like I said I don't like to adjust anything not because I'm scared because I choose peace I don't like drama I'm, I haven't been in drama since fucking high school I'm 20 years old what am I still doing having drama I'm grown so that's what happened um and whatever so um we graduate i think she's still in high school she's still yeah. in high school i graduate and we're, we're starting to hang around the same friend friend group or whatever this we're is whenever everybody had a platform now yeah this is whenever yeah we all had our own platform and whatever and so um well let me take it back a little bit so that yeah we had the platform and people would always this is whenever she was coming up people would always say that we looked alike people would always compare us why are you acting like her why are you doing this why are you doing that yada 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 i would always tell y'all the real ones remember i would always tell y'all please stop bringing this person up in my life please stop talking about this person please 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 she has fed into this since when was this? Like 20, 2020? 2020. 2019, 2020. She has fed into this since that long. She texted Josiah. She knows my number. She knows my Snapchat. She knows my Instagram. Why are you texting my brother? She's like, tell well, I don't know exactly what she said, but she pretty much said, and tell you to stop talking about me on live. And I was like, baby, she's not even talking about you. What are you talking about? Like, we. We know the way the social media is. They're going to sit here and compare and contrast, literally. So, with that being said, why would we speak on something if we know the words can sit there and easily get twisted? And it can make it sound like we're talking mess about somebody when we're really just, like, don't, don't talk about that person in my life. Because if she says the one wrong thing, that could cause a whole little scandal. Which is what ha is happening right now. Which, which is happening. Which is happening right now. Literally. So, so I've been holding this shit in since 2019. This like, person, never spoke about this person picks, 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 picks. Like, literally. But it's just like so much stuff that we don't even know, like, really, like, I don't even know, to be okay, honest. Okay, so she's like, nobody could ever be. be. And be. then she said her name. So it's and like, it's like, maybe nobody would. like, it's, it's just, it's been ugly from the get go. Like, I don't understand, like, I don't, I really don't, like, not everybody wants to be this person, and that's what this person believes and thinks. Yeah, so now y'all know the truth of why I never spoke about her, why I didn't, and y'all knew, y'all knew, like, we had something going on. Y'all knew, and I was like, no, I just don't, like, I just don't like people being talked, like, still, like, I could have said everything I needed to know to build myself up, because she had a platform, I could have stole her clout. Exactly. Because she was, she was coming up. I could have hopped on that bandwagon, and I could have fucking took, like, you know what I mean? Like, we could have been beefing. I could have probably been up right now, too. You know what I mean? Why? It's just, Why? yeah. We want to, if we decide to come up, it's because we want to come up right. We don't want to come up off anybody. We don't want to sit here and bully somebody to come up. Because I have that's 200 the, and I don't know how many thousand followers right now by myself. Never no drama. Nobody built me. Nobody, none of that. I have 300 and something, and that's, this is not my first account. My first account had 500,000. I had a lot of backup accounts that all had 100,000. So, this is not my like first account. With, yeah. I've been DJ like you said. Even with, with, I see Rosa every day. Y'all know how much followers she has. I, whenever I hang out with Des, y'all know how much, Jamie, I'm with her every day too. She don't sit there and post she's with them 24 7 because she's genuinely their friend. And I don't, I'm not like, oh, like, let's make a TikTok together. Like, knowing how much followers and views they get, I'm not even sit, I don't sit there and I'll be like, let's make a TikTok. Let's, no. Because I genuinely hang out with them because I genuinely hang out with them. Not because, like, I sit here and think about followers. Like, okay, well, let's, let's just hurry up and try to get this video yeah. a little over with. So, where were we at? Y'all drama, right? That's where we were at? The 15 and all that? Okay, drama? so, um, so she, after all of that, she, Oh, okay, let me say one more thing, though. We're talking about the scooter let situation. Me say, okay, but let me say one more thing. Because I just want you to see, like, how, like, 
this like so this is after the whole 15 drama this is after all of that and so one time I got out of class I was mad because somebody stole my stuff well they took my stuff and I was like don't take my stuff like what are you doing so I walked out the classroom mad she was coming in she was I was leaving the hallway she was coming like like this we were like this the guy I don't know what he did to her but she was like stop I'm not Eliza and I turned around so fast, keep in mind, I was already heated. Like, I was already heated, and I was like, I turned around, and I was like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? And she, nothing, walked away, quiet. This is in between passing time. When I sat in my chair to my class, we were already, we were, we were already almost late. When I sat in the chair to my class, in my class, something was already posted about me. This is before TikTok. This is before TikTok. Snapchat, she posted on Snapchat, something was already posted about me. I hate when their bitches act like they're all being bad because they're around their friends. I didn't even, like I said, I walked out the class. I didn't know my friends were behind me whenever she did all that shit. So, I posted. Bitches want to always talk shit about you and always want to come for you. But the minute you open your mouth, it's a problem. And because she had to sit the fuck down. So, I said, sit the fuck down. After that. It was, I don't know if it was like drama she was in or whatever, but she had got other people into it. And then they said, no, it wasn't told to me, whatever. And I was just like. It caused a whole ruckus, literally. Like what she, she has been saying, like, it's not to y'all. It's not to you. It's other people. It's about other people. But like, I just put that together right now. Whenever yeah. she did that, it was not even about you. What? She said my whole name. I literally just seen you. I just seen you. The minute that I just seen you and I sat my ass down, you posted something seconds ago. Like, I wish I had all this. I'm, I'm going to find it. And we're going to put it here. I'm going to find it. I'm going to try to find it. So, and it's crazy. It's crazy. So, anyways, they ended up, she ended up texting Eliza, talking about, I don't know why we have beef yet. Yeah, 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 we yeah, hang, yeah we, because. We, we hang were, around the same. This is scooter yeah, time. This is scooter time. We were already on the friend, same friends, shit, friend groups. And she was like, we're going to be around the same people. She's like, like, I don't under, she came to me. They had, she came they were, to me. They, they were in was, group chats and all that. They were in yeah. group chats and all that together. So I guess that's why this person was like, okay, let me text her. Because, you know, we're all yeah. around the same people Which, and stuff like you that. you know, I respected her like that. Because it takes somebody, it takes somebody. It takes growth to do that. It takes growth and it takes a lot for somebody to say sorry, for somebody to apologize. So I respected her. And I was like, she said, like, we're around the same friend group. Like, I a friend group, I don't understand why, like, we have beef and like that. Like, let's just drop it. I was like, okay, like, we're good. You know, like, cool. And she's like, hey, follow me. Add me on here. Okay, cool. And follow me back on, on Instagram. Okay, cool. So then, I, like, that's whenever we started, we're not becoming close, but that's whenever we were cordial. Yeah. And, we, yeah, so then we, we went to ride scooters, and we were good. Everything was good. I mean, whatever. And then we, out of nowhere, we all became close. Like, I guess, we, yeah, were still in high school. Yeah, we, we got close whenever I whenever I finally went back to school because I seen this person every day. I had lunch with this person. Like, it was just, it was an everyday thing. So... We would just randomly go to the mall together. Like, me and this person. We started getting, like, extremely close. Because we were like that before COVID. So, anyways. This is whenever 11. I was 11. This person was in 12. So, um, that's whenever we got, like, extremely close. And then when we actually all started hanging out. Was when this. Was it when, when this person graduated high school that summer? Yeah. Because we went. When this person graduated high school that summer. This is whenever we all started hanging out. Because we went to the graduation and stuff like that. And then all that. We went out to eat after and stuff like that. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, this is whenever we're all close. We had. Y'all know our little friend group we had. Friend groups don't really last like that. Because people be sneaky. But our friend group lasted a good, like, two years. Two years? It's two years. Our friend group lasted? Almost two years. Almost two years. So, you know... We all just were out all the time. Just do, we were going out at the clubs at this time. I know. Yes, we were, we were all going clubs. out at the clubs so at this time. time. Yeah, she was a bottle girl, so we were always going to the clubs. We were just always out doing something. Every day, we would come home like at six in the morning. By one p.m., we're with each other again. Mm -hmm. So this is the way. This is where I'm. Where all of us are literally becoming like a little family. Mm -hmm. That was that. So anytime we had got. I don't know if I'm skipping pieces, but we had got an Airbnb. Okay, you are skipping pieces. I skipped a whole lot? Yeah. So, this person would tell us all the time. Not all the time, but she told us enough times. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. 
that we became close. I am so glad that we, whatever. I was literally sad before we became friends. Y'all literally made me happy. Y'all literally, thank y'all for dragging me out the house. Y'all literally, if you're so grateful for somebody, like, what she said, Josiah? I don't even know. It was just more like, we were there pretty much when nobody was ever there. Like, I don't even know, like, how to explain it because it's just, like, such a weird, like, I don't know. Anyways. It's one of the, it was just one of those things where, not even to me, like, to Josiah and to, like, the other girl, because I, I had just came to the friendship, friend group, but she told them, she was, like, like, basically because of them, like, like she's yeah. happy again. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. She's like, thank y'all. And she, was, she said it a few times, too. She said it a few times. And we even have a message with which she said with well, this is later on to the video but she was just thinking us again thinking us again and i was just like and it was know? all so we so we're, so we're like how can somebody like that just sit there and switch up on somebody they're grateful for like people done me done us so wrong but the stuff that they used to do for us like we're guys grateful yeah for them. literally like so anyways, a little Keep in mind, this is this is not even including no money. This is literally and just including our heart and us actually being there for her mentally and physically. Yeah. Well then, because and then after like after like we were yeah. I was there mentally and I was there physically for her as well. Genuinely. So I'm a little I'm a fast forward a little bit. So this person's mom had a got us to Airbnb. We were so grateful for it. We take this person's mom, like, thank you so much, like yada yada yada. Like they never nobody ever told us like hey pitching money or anything so you know obviously we're like damn like that's so sweet so we're like thank you so much yada, yada, yada. and this person invited us to stay over there at the airbnb with this person so this person they didn't know what we're talking about i don't person. know so anyway so anytime we wanted to go out to eat or anything we would all like we would all take turns buying okay. each other's food well, and stuff when we first started hanging out well i don't know y'all but whenever i came into the picture um we always paid for uh, josiah didn't have no money i was um what did I have money for? I think I had a. What did I? How did I get money? What do you mean I didn't have money, girl? I had the crystal shop. I had a. I had my business at that time. While y'all hanging out. Bef yeah. Okay. I had, well, anyways, I had anyways, Josiah. Either way, me and Josiah. If he doesn't have it, I'm gonna pay for him. If I don't have it, he's gonna pay for me. Like, what? So, um, yeah. So then we and Josiah would pay for ourselves. We pay for each other. Whatever. It came to the point where we we're becoming close, and it was just like, okay, well. We're gonna pay this time, and then you, y'all, like, somebody pays the other time. We would all, we're gonna we pay all this time, somebody pays the other time. Yeah. We're gonna pay this time, and we would always talk about it. We love how we are, like we love how we're like this, you know, because other people they wouldn't do this, like, and we're like our friendship is so different, you know, like. We would literally get mad at each other and fight and throw our cards to the waiter trying to yes. tap pay or trying to this person, see who This paid. person will literally yell at us if we try to pay. So I don't know why she keeps making it seem like we were using her she would get mad at us if we try to pay and it's like have you been trying to, have you been building a case on us? i guess, like, I, guess I, don't, I don't know if this person's been trying to, to like trying to catch a sliding so that whenever i don't know if this person wanted to the point this to where, like she's all the way in the back seat she climbs to the front to give the person the car making a whole big scene because she wants to pay and even Josiah has his card out. He's already ready to pay. Or I have my card out and I'm ready to pay. And it's just like, she literally will do the most. Come, y'all. We're not even exaggerating. And like, obviously, like, the times that she did pay, we did thank her. We were grateful. And so did she but, thank us and stuff like that. But Josiah has any money. Like, he sent her money. And I would just get it. I'll get it returned. Refunded it. She'll refund it to me. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, I tried to send the money. And if you didn't want it, hey, you didn't want it. This whole money topic situation... It's not even really towards me, I guess, because that's yeah, that's okay. that's my uh -huh. that's where my head is at. That's mm -hmm. what this person told me. Yeah. This person never had a problem with me. I had Texans just to prove that. Both. So, yeah. anyways, this was the money topic. Okay, no, I'm not done. My money topic. So, um, yeah, like she, okay, whatever. Me and her started becoming close. Josiah told me Eliza, like they're still friends. He still loves her. But I guess he's trying to protect me. He's like, Eliza, he's like, I don't know why you're becoming so close to her. He's like, I don't think it's gonna like basically end well. He's like, y'all becoming too close. I told both of them this because this is the point where they started hanging out without me. And yeah. I was like, I was like, y'all both being us. It was just us. This is whenever we started being our own friendship. Yeah. 
So, you know, obviously I wasn't jealous because like I'm I'm happy to see people happy. So I told it I told both of them and we have a we had a friendship where we would just talk talk to each other. So I was like, hey, and this little thing right here, I don't know what y'all up to, but I don't like it. That's exactly what I said. So it like if you if you didn't know the way our friendship was, that sounds like I'm jealous or something when I really wasn't. I was just like, I don't uh, I even told her like too, like, I don't know, like it's just something. I feel something. So, uh, but he wasn't the only person that told me that. It was uh, quite a few people that told me that. But I like to see people for who they are. Yeah. And so I'm just like, no, like, she's changed. Like, not even, it, wasn't even, so. it wasn't even because, oh my gosh, she has followers. Oh my God. Like, I never, no. <clears throat> Whenever we were becoming friends, we didn't make TikToks together. We didn't. To this day. The first TikTok we made together, I think it was us at the B&B. With somebody else in it. It wasn't even just like separate. I want to say, I could be wrong. Don't hold me against this. But like, <clears throat> no. So, um, we started hanging out together, whatever. I would still pay for myself. I, whatever. But, like I said, some, we already built our friendship to where, oh, you don't got it? Oh, that's okay. Like, I got it. You know, like, whatever. We would take you know, turns, like, literally. Yeah, or not even that. Not even, oh, you don't got it. It was just like okay like i'll just pay for this time then you pay for that time you know yeah. like whatever if she would pay for me i would always send her the money back me i would always send her the money back you know so i was like i don't know so it got to the point where i wasn't working anymore whenever we became friends i was working at bombshells mm -hmm. whenever we became friends i was working she at was Bombshells. she was working so many shifts because she wanted to buy her car yes. and stuff like that so that's whenever they became friends. So she was obviously like working extremely hard, not because my parents didn't support her, because she wanted to do it herself. So, anyways, whenever we, whenever she finally got her car and stuff, yes, she, that's whenever she yes, got the clock, yes. she got the bottle girl job. And this, and this, <clears throat> and this, um, because I wanted because she said on the video recently, she's like, um, like no gas money, nothing, y'all. When I had when I got my car, she didn't have a car. I was the one picking her. We were the one picking her up, her up. We were the ones going places in my car. She never offered me no gas money. And it's when I don't even know, like, I don't understand how somebody could claim they have money or they don't care about money. Money comes and money I goes. I think her probably owing but, me gas money was her buying us food, which is fine. You know, that is fine. She's not complaining about it. She's the same only, thing. Yeah. the same thing. Well, we paid for your gas by giving you food too. Yeah. You know, like maybe that's how she thought about it. But it's like, well, we didn't. We didn't know like this person like had an ugly heart like that. Like if we were to know that, maybe we would pay for our our stuff every ourselves. single time. We don't even let her pay for us. And like, it's not even like we took advantage. Whenever we knew it was her turn to pay, we would still try to pay. Yeah. So it wasn't us ever taking advantage. She'd be like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like, what are y'all doing? Like, move. Like, I'll pay. Like, I'll pay. Like, don't piss me off right now. And we're just like in front of like the. In the, here, yeah, the, the waiter. Like the waiter. So I thought we were this. The, like, yeah. like, you know what I mean? And so, okay. So it got to the point where I didn't have a job no more. I was going through stuff. People go through shit. Go through shit, okay? So I would still make money though to pay my car, okay? So I don't know why she keeps saying that. Oh, like, mommy gives it to y'all. Mommy gives it to y'all. Like Josiah said, I would work my ass. My mom wanted to buy my car. My parents wanted to buy my car. I said no. I was working so many shifts at bombshells, making 16 hour shifts, walking out with the hundred dollars because if you're lucky, if I'm lucky, because I wanted like I've always been a hustler, hustler since middle school. I didn't want to ask my mom to buy me a car. I didn't want like my mom was already looking. My mom already like we were going places. I was like to get to look for a car. No mom, no mom, no mom. And so I finally got the whole money for my car. And then um, I got my car, whatever. And then yeah, so I don't understand why she's saying that like my mom gives us everything. And even my, if my mom does give us everything, that's what parents I are mean, for. That's what parents should do. Like I don't understand why that's an issue. Like the only thing, like my mom, like not the only thing, because mom does a lot for us, but. And that's not even a bad thing. I don't know why I'm making it seem like it's a bad thing. And it's little as kids that keep saying that. Like, mind you, on your mom. Don't mind you, on your mom. Like, Eliza is literally what? 20. I'm 20. I might be 21. Years I old. just turned 18. We're still kids. Like if you think about it, if you think we're literally still like, kids. Like Josiah so, doesn't have responsibilities. I have 
my car bill to pay i have little bills that i have to pay you know what i mean so like like so anyway so i don't understand why she's saying that maybe i worked my ass off to get my car my mom did not leave me shit to the point where i didn't even let my mom co-sign it i got my own insurance i did all this at 18 okay like what so then um um let's see let's, let's see i started working cna we were still friends by this time i was caught up in a relationship you, you had two yeah, kind jobs. of um i didn't have two jobs um and well social media has always been my job so i mean Whatever. Yeah. And so I wasn't hanging out with them often. Whatever. She was too busy getting her money because at this time this. She I, was, was, I was too busy getting my money, and I was um like down there in the relationship. So then um I quit that again because I was just going through stuff again. I quit the job, and then that's whenever I became a bottle girl. And so uh, um yeah. So then we would go out. Um, if I didn't, if I couldn't go out because I say I just paid my bills, I can't go out like I'm broke right now, like which is fine. I just paid my bills, like you know what I mean. Like her that's priorities. okay. Like I have priori priorities, like it, priorities. She had, before they come, her at me. her priorities were paying her car, not going out to the club. So even though I was working at a club, no, not no, no, not that because I this is time when I was going out like Monday through Sunday. But my thing is, is like, yeah, I but your first have, priorities were to pay your car. Yeah, my, my priorities always are to pay my bills. Always are to pay my bills. So I would tell her, I can't. Like, she's like, why are you acting like that? She's like, you know, I'll pay for you. You know, I'll pay for you. Stop acting like that. Come on. Come on. And I'm like, okay. To the point where I didn't tell her no anymore. I was like, she got me. She got me. She got me. That's what she said her boyfriend would say. I don't even know that like, they're taking advantage of you like ooh, blah, blah like no because we just had a friendship like that like, but, it, it, but it's still not her taking advantage because whenever she got the money she would send it back on and cash I'm app gonna post, we're gonna post this to the cash app and then See, even like, the first time she ever gave her money how much it was how much was that the I don't first, remember I, I don't remember but receipts. she got her a flower bouquet that was but the it was, first time but yeah. that was the first time I don't even know but she ended up getting her flower bouquet because she knew she wouldn't accept cash so she got her a little flower mm -hmm. money rose thingy yeah, made out I had, of money. It, yeah it got to the point where I had to go out my way because I know she wouldn't accept the money so I had to go out of my way to get her a custom like a custom boutique made with money all in it so that she could she posted it y'all seen it so that she could accept the money so anyways um if it keeps cutting it's because the camera keeps it keeps yeah or whatever. so anyways it got to the point where Eliza was obviously she it's not that we don't have money because if my mom was mom was like I'll give you money go out my mom wants to see us happy my mom wants to see us go out but Eliza's like no mom no mom no mom no mom no mom Eliza wanted to pay her car first and then if she had money then she'll go out but in this case somebody offered for her to go out and they'll pay for it so I was like okay when I have the money I'll just pay you back that's exactly what she did every time. exactly what she kept every doing time. every time so like I said cash up don't lie like there's no way you can make cash up lie but and then um her saying the whole section that's what i addressed it and that's what people were coming at me for uh, the whole sex situation y'all know damn well this girl doesn't go out i can name on my hands how many times she's been out she can name on her hands how many times she's been out y'all can probably name on your hands how many times she's been out so it's like people already knew who you were talking about so i don't understand why y'all why we can't open our mouth why i can't open my mouth you know what I mean? And her saying that, like, I never bought a bottle. I never this. I never that. Whenever we go out to sections, there's already bottles there. Because it's not y'all section. Y'all go visit section. other people's sections that y'all been invited to. Okay. So, no, if you want to talk about nobody bought a bottle, nobody in this situation bought a bottle. Nobody bought a bottle. You didn't even buy a bottle of your damn self. Um, the one time she's talking about that I, that she wanted to buy a bottle and that I didn't buy a bottle. Um, come to find out, she didn't even buy the bottle. She didn't even give the money for the bottle. Anyways, though. But was on live saying she did with yeah. other people. And you, yeah. Um, it wasn't that time. It was the other time before that. That I literally sent her 200 and something dollars. And I even put a bottle in mochi. On Cash App. On Cash App. When I was in Miami. Like, baby, I could have kept that money and had me a blast in Miami. No, for real. Get your own section You know Miami. what I mean? If I knew it was, was going to be like this, baby, I could have got my own section at me in Miami. I could have got my own bottle in Miami. I could have used that money for something else. You know? Like, whatever. But, um, I don't know why she's like... Th like, that time was the only time that we actually popped a bottle together. I... We went half... It was, oh, whatever. Me and her and some other girl went half on the bottle. 
that's because the other girl didn't even drink the bottle. I bought everybody shots. Everybody shots. So that's why I sent her so much money because of the shots. Okay. And I had the money on my card, I think. Or no, I didn't have the money at the time. But I knew I was going to send it to her. So it was like, I sent it to her right away whenever I had it. After I paid my bills. After I had to get, do some stuff that I needed to do. Okay, cool. So, um... So, wait. This this is the time that they start going out separately. Because at this time, I wasn't going out with them no more. I would go out maybe like one, two, three times. I never physically, like, went out with them like that. They were the ones that kept going out. Ow, 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 and I was the one just here chilling at my house. And then, you know, just talk. Continue. That's, this is the time whenever we all went out together, though. And after that, uh, whenever she's saying that her whatever and whoever popped a bottle, um, yeah, comes to find out, uh, she didn't, she didn't get the money for the bottle. Didn't even pitch in. She didn't pitch in. She just pulled the money out and didn't pitch in. She yeah. was buying everybody shots, but she didn't buy the bottle. Yeah. So, so the, this is where the story starts getting really touchy. Because, like I said, they were the ones that were going out, and I was the one getting more cut out towards this time. Mm. So, this is where, like, I don't even, I wouldn't, like, it's just, like, I don't even know where to start on this part. Because it just, it just gets really, really touchy. So, this person is in a relationship. Mm -hmm. this, this person, is a relationship. this person's in a relationship. This person is homophobic, that they're in a relationship with. So, it's like, at this point, you're coming for a home. No, 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 let's start from the beginning. Go. Okay. You can start it, because I, start... I, I didn't. Nobody told me nothing about this until a little bit after the fact. So I'm gonna let her start because it was addressed it and brought up to her. Go. Um, sorry, I'm literally trying to work right now. Um, so whenever she was talking to this person, we didn't know who this person was. She would talk to us about the person, but we didn't know who the person was. And we don't, I don't, we didn't want we don't want to bring nobody into it but it's a whole reason why she don't talk to him and so whatever we ended up finding out who it was cool whatever um i honestly think to this day that this person doesn't like us really truly because how much stuff we would do for her she was sad bitch come on like the fuck like let's go she like whatever and i think like everybody truly that knew us seen it you know like they seen the beautiful side of our friendship if y'all truly knew us um so i think this person she even told her she's like y'all do what are the messages are? this person said screenshot right he now he would oh yeah he would always he would just talk shit about y'all i don't want to get into detail but always talk shit like bro get on somewhere for real like y'all dead us have done way more for me than he ever did and i asked her i'm like oh well, how do you feel like how are you mentally and whatever like that was that you know like whatever so i think this person truly like doesn't like us because he's seen and how much shit that we would do for her how we were there for her not even like like just mentally just mentally there for her you know and he didn't like that because he Okay, I don't even want to get into, like, know, that's, but, but getting into, that's getting into, like, whatever. But, um, she stopped hanging out with Josiah. Well, we didn't even hang out with Josiah no more. And I, and she had, somebody had Wait, asked and her. and I started feeling a type of way, because it's like, how do we go from a trio to, like, now it's just a duo. And, obviously, like, I was getting depressed and stuff like that, because I'm like, wow, like, this shit's, it's a fucked up feeling whenever you have a really close relationship with both of them, but you're not getting invited out. You're not you're just getting overlooked and you know i was like i i was hurting at the time but obviously i'm not gonna sit there and cause a scene so i was just like whatever i'm happy they're getting along now yeah so we were going out to the club and we it was somebody in the car i still car i still remember to this day who it was and they had asked her oh like why don't you like why don't you hang out with so and so she's like because my boyfriend like it wasn't just i it was somebody it else. was somebody they're else like, because but my boyfriend mm, and they're like well, he doesn't like gay people and she's like yeah no he can't stand them or something like that and so i didn't click to my head until like a couple days later i'm like that's what she's hanging around me and that she part hang out with josiah or because her boyfriend is homophobic and like she said she said in the, the thing he would talk always talk shit about y'all but i'm not gonna say every detail you well, i know what he would say about me but about josiah like i didn't know so i was just like oh 
Okay, so you're not hanging out with my brother because your boyfriend is homophobic. And you're, you you have a name, you have a platform, okay. and you're putting up with that. So that makes you look a certain way. And this person knows exactly stuff that I've been through in my life. Like, I've been bullied my whole entire life. Teachers, principals, the whole school. Like, yeah. this is not something... Like, y'all think the whole LGBTQ community is a choice. People don't choose... You really think somebody's gonna be like, Oh, yeah, I want to be gay today. I want to be bi today. I want to be transgender today. And it's like, I, I just... I'm speechless because that shit really did hurt me. Like, to the, like, it hurt me so bad. I feel like I literally just got like broken up and stomped on because it's like that makes me sick to my stomach to even think that somebody could even could even be like that with such a big platform and it's just so like damn like you know so much about me and you know i what i've been through like with my certain family members and stuff and it's like you're gonna stop talking to me because you're putting up with somebody's homophobicness that makes you homophobic and i don't i don't know like where you were really getting at with that but like it's just fucked up. And then the little slugs mm. putting, oh, you want to be a girl so fucking bad and yada, yada, yada. And how do you, That's how you, coming how from how the trans, you that, you're coming from the trans community. You're coming from the trans community. You're coming for a whole community. Half of this world, uh, more than 50% of this world is a part of that community and you're coming for it. But because y'all think that Josiah started it, it's okay. I didn't okay start it. Like oh I did not gosh, start it. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. I love her. Putting oh rainbows, God. putting rainbows and all that, trying to be funny. And I didn't even want to bring this up because I know it's such a touchy topic, but it's like, like now I'm getting DMs. I've always gotten death threats. I've always gotten all of this because people are so hateful towards me. And y'all think this is like making it easier? This is making it even more harder, if anything. Like, uh, um, like you're coming um, for a whole community when, again, you have a name for yourself. When, like... So I don't understand how y'all put up. I don't understand how y'all could support somebody that's like that. It's literally like a monster, literally. Like what? Okay, y'all. So the after the homophobic stuff, like that shit really did hit me, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna hit a lot of y'all because again, this is somebody y'all look up to. This is somebody that y'all genuinely supported, and I'm not. I didn't say that to sit here and try to get y'all against this person. I really don't care what y'all do with it, with this information, but I'm sitting here clearing my name. People want us to know why we stopped talking, and that's the reason why we stopped talking. So, um, that was that. I didn't, yeah, that was that. So, um, my mom and this person had a conversation a while back. But then is mom will literally sit here and we will live and my mom will tell you her tell y'all her stuff. I'm pretty sure whatever this person claims that she has on us, my mom's already told you. I'm gonna put a screenshot right here of this person telling me and how this person came at me. So this person trying to blackmail me, trying to sit here and I guess scare me or something, talking about Um You don't want me to sit here. I'd be wrong if I sit here and talk about the stuff your mom told me about you and expose you the first thing she brought up. and yada 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 and the it's like she's brought up. if I think somebody's talking about me why would I sit here and automatically do that I, I, I don't I really don't know but this person because anyways, she, she knows how to get to him yeah so she I, I look over that because I'm like okay whatever like my mom had a conversation with you okay so you're trying to sit here and bring my mom up so my mom could speak up and then it could cause more drama or somebody else could get involved my mom does not my mom does not even care about us we're like little kids so um I guess the only thing my mom told her was that we were getting food stamps. And this person, I guess that's the way this, I guess the person, that's why this person's saying we're trying to paint a lifestyle that we don't have. But this person's also missing a whole lot out. We got food stamps. This is like a such a, a touchy topic. And I don't even know why this person would even bring this up because this person wasn't affected by whatever happened. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been affected. So, our house got flooded a while back. A while back, our house got flooded. We lost everything we owned. The only thing we saved was the cars. Literally, we have two cars and they got saved. That was it. We, it was on my mom's birthday, which is like, it's so like, to this day, y'all, like, I can literally sit here and start crying because to this day, our lifestyle is not the same like it used to be. We still sit, like, to this day, how, how long ago was Harvey? Like, 20, like, almost four years ago and to this day we're barely getting back to normal four years later we're get, barely getting back to normal we just moved back into this house two years ago we were displaced for two years so 
my parents lost their job at the time. We had to pay over $1,500 in mortgage. That's only mortgage. I don't even know how much our house is. I know it's over 15 though. All the bills and everything, we still had to pay that. My parents weren't working. They had to pay over $2,000 in car notes. My parents weren't working. My parents had a saving because they were planning to redo our whole entire house. My parents were working because my mom was a stay at home mom. My dad was laid off of work. Yeah. He's a welder. So y'all always wanted to know what he does for work. He's a welder. So y'all know that they get laid off here and there. Yeah. So. And it was during. Harvey. Harvey. It was like during a natural disaster. Yeah. So my. Our, our parents lost their jobs. And so did a lot of other people. So for this person to sit here and talk about a topic that is so touchy to a lot of people. People died during COVID. People lost family members. People lost their house. We're talking about Harvey, babe. What did I say? COVID. Oh, I'm talking about Harvey, yes. People died because of Harvey. People, like, so much stuff happened between Harvey. It's such a touchy topic. And just because you didn't get affected then, I don't know what makes you think you cannot get affected in the future. God, it's not like other I hope you do never, I hope you never get affected in the future because it's such, it that right there will hurt you. Like, that broke us. Nobody's seen us living an hour plus away from our house having to wake up at 4 in the morning to go to school, doing that getting Monday like through Friday. Getting home at 7 o'clock p.m. Waking up, transportation. waking up at 4, getting home like at almost 8 o'clock, and doing that every day. It's so draining. We did it for two years because we have insurance policies and nobody wanted to, all our insurances did not want to sit here and give us money or anything to help fix our house. So what do my parents have to do? Touch our savings. So not only did they have to sit here, pay the mortgage, pay all the bills here, they have to still pay the car notes, they had to still pay the other car note. Still feed still us. Still feed us. Still Still pay rent gas, where we were staying. Still, yeah, pay rent where we were staying. Pay rent where we were staying. I forgot about still that. Still pay for gas to go an hour over, an hour, maybe like an hour and 30 minutes because Houston traffic is crazy. Back and forth every single day. We don't have, they so, don't have, my parents have very good cars. It needs the it gas needs up. It needs gas up, yeah. So, um, we tried to get FEMA. Is that what, what was it called? FEMA. We tried getting them, but they said we make too much money. And we're like, what are you talking about? This is a natural disaster. The insurances don't want to come. Like, it was so much stuff. The insurances didn't end up releasing the money to two years later. So, I don't know if my mom hit up the government or if the government hit up my mom talking about, like, food stamps. Food stamps. We were struggling at the time. People struggle. People are human. And it's like, how are you okay with that? I'm like, pretty sure half of your so supporters like, get food stamps and all like, of that. And you're talking down on them. What if we couldn't get food stamps? And what if we had to get, like, like go to the church to get food and shit like that it's just so pure would you, ugliness would you throw that in our face too that we didn't have enough money to eat well that's what you're down there doing literally you're throwing you're down there doing that so it's like how do you sleep at night like a genuine ass question that i hope you can answer how do you sleep at night having such a ugly heart when you're so blessed you're very blessed and i don't understand how you can sit here and talk about people's financial this and that baby you're not, not even perfect it's, it's, either yeah, like, you it's, went through struggles too like yeah but this is real life this is not you just want to make everything seem social media social media social media baby we deal with real life problems real life issues and you do too but you don't let nobody see that so why are you in here fucking trying to put us like and the reason why I'm bringing up the food stamp situation is because she's trying to use that to blackmail me and she gave my number out to somebody because nobody has my number. I was getting text mm -hmm. messages. My mom has never told anybody we may, we have food stamps or anything. Only that one particular person. Y'all knew we had food stamps whenever, y'all knew we had food stamps whenever I was on live or whatever. Or no, 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 I didn't. We were trying to buy food stamps. Yeah, I remember we're... from from my follower, we were trying to buy food stamps from him. I think I still follow him too. And whatever, like it was, it was, it was whatever. So, you know, but what's wrong with having food stamps? Like, I mean, that, that, food stamps, y'all food stamps. Like, like n the government is there to help you in case you need it. My parents paid taxes, so whenever we really needed it, whenever we were really struggling, thank God for the government for being there for us. Like literally, because that was putting food in my grandma's house. Because it's a lot, it's all of us, all my cousins, everybody living under one roof. It's three of us living in one small bedroom. We had no, like when I tell you guys, this is so like, it's such like a disaster because we left my house, y'all. We literally damn near swam out my house. We had no clothes, no shoes, no furniture. Like, it's just such a touchy topic. We only topic. We grabbed our dogs. We, like, we couldn't even grab all of our animals. No, like, I'm going to start hope. crying because... I'm going to start crying too because... Our hope. Y'all know, like, how much, like... Well, Josiah, like... 
It's just so much stuff and Harvey really did fuck us up mentally, physically, and everything about it. We lost all of our animals. Because like we're lying, like these are real life tears. But literally, we don't never let like, nobody see a struggle. We, and we literally like we just had time to grab our dog, and that was it. Like I think we had, did we just have one dog at the time? I don't know. But like whatever, like and our little our little um, geese that we have here, she literally survived that shit. Like we've been having her for so long. She's our longest animal, but like all our uh, other animals, like we literally lost them. Like it, it's a fucked up feeling. Losing everything and then and know, coming and back and seeing all your how, animals dead. Like, y'all your... should know how Josiah, like, he loves, these. we got this house because of Josiah. My mom didn't want to be in the subdivision whenever it, where it was all tight and stuff because the stuff that Josiah goes through, you know? So we literally got this house, we got land, we got all these animals for Josiah. So for him to sit here and come to his animals dead and you want to sit here and you want to fucking talk about, like. Food stamps and stuff whenever we were really struggling, like. It's just, it's so much more than what y'all really see it as. Y'all see, this is literally bullying. This is cyber bullying. And it's just, it's a fucked up situation if you've ever been in it. We lost everything. I had over 50 pairs of shoes. It's like, I lost everything. We went to our grandma's house with the clothes we had on. And we were soaking wet because we had to swim out of our house. Like, it's a fucked up situation. And just because you were okay at the moment, God does not like ugly and the way you're portraying yourself to be right now I don't understand how people are gonna even continue to support you We didn't do this video to sit here and try to cancel somebody or talk down on anybody because to this day I'm not okay because I literally love this person so much and I have so much respect for this person because whenever I was sad This person was there for me. This when person she was sad. We were there for her So it's like how are you switching up on us all of a sudden like like it's fucked up and to this day we we're not even talking shit we're just saying like what whatever like we don't even have anything to really say i mean we have a lot to say about her but it's coming because well you don't want to stop but at the end of the day it's like our the last conversation i had with her everything was gonna stop it was gonna be chill but it's like you're under all the fan pages you're under doing all this and it's like now you have everybody coming at me with all these rainbows and stuff and it's like people kill themselves in the lgbt community because of this People are not okay because of this. And it's like, you're putting she up with it. You started hard. it. Like, this is something I've been bullied with my whole entire life. My fat, like, I don't even talk to my real dad. Like, that's how fucked up it is because they don't sit here and they just don't want to accept me. I've always had feminine features. I've never been a masculine looking person. So, ever since I was born, my dad's family rejected me. So, it's like so much shit that goes into it that nobody knows about me. But I always sit here and put a smile on my face. Nobody knows what I go through on a real level nobody knows what i go through on a real level like at all i sit here and regardless of fact i always put a smile on my face because nobody's i don't want people to remember me as always being sad always making people feel bad for him i'm just like guitarist and i want people to know me that bitch i'm always happy i know he doesn't give a fuck about nothing he doesn't give a fuck but because it takes i'm surprised he's even cry i've never seen him cry before like and it's making me cry because it's like y'all can see how and this is my little brother you know and it's like y'all can see how frustrated he is y'all can see how long we've been putting up with this shit y'all can see like whatever i have never seen him cry like this before you know so it, it's hurting me because it's like this was his best friend like they were actually close like i didn't it didn't really affect me like that because we were just becoming close and whatever like i expected us to not be friends forever but i was hoping we would be friends for like oh forever but it's like for you to sit here and for you to like throw shit in our face. And it's personal and shit. Like personal it's, it's, shit. It's deep shit. Personal shit is insane. And for y'all to sit here and be okay with that and still support this person. Like I don't know if y'all ever put two and two together. Like wow like she. Well no y'all don't because y'all blame the other people. Why can't she keep friends? Why are people like being around her? Like why does she's changing? Like y'all mad because she's changing. Y'all this, y'all that. No, we would want to see her change. Like we like to see people doing better. When I had my business, y'all, I had my business before this person. Oh wait, well let's go back to the whole food stamps because we keep jumping. I don't know if she gave somebody his number. I don't know if they found his number i don't know supposedly they don't know that they, that she doesn't know that there were texts that they were texting him she's threatening my brother saying that she's gonna get her brothers and her boyfriend on my brother that's a whole threat right there she's giving other people 
if she is giving other people his number to text him and to tell him that they're they're gonna whoop my ass and, and his ass like, like what all of this saying is, that the bring the whole food stamps up but don't what did they say don't. they said something about food stamps and that's the reason why i brought it up and nobody knows we had food stamps at the time or at all this person was literally the only person this person said i'll take a screenshot and show y'all but and y'all y'all some broke ass bitches living off of food stamps like your mama said my mom said that to one person my mom did not see her and have a conversation with the world that people are gonna sit here and try to blackmail us on that shit like that's if you think that's and there's nothing wrong with having food stamps like y'all just heard our whole situation the least we could get is food stamps and it's like what if we couldn't get food stamps what the, like what, what if like we weren't we are very blessed because we live a very good life we are very blessed because we don't have ugly hearts we're very blessed because we will give our last dollar to somebody we are very blessed because my mom has a lot of faith my mom prays my mom this my mom that like you know so it's like yes we fucking hold our mom fucking high yes our mom is our whole fucking world yes my mom if she wants to give her whole fucking world to her kids why is that an issue your parents give the whole world to you so i don't know why you're sitting here trying to well i don't need my mom i don't need mom how the fuck do you think your mom feels like you like saying shit like that like by all means though i don't want to even get the moms involved but it's like you're bringing our mom into it for what for what like you knew that was gonna you knew that was gonna trigger one of us that's why you you said it that was the first thing you said to my my brother like your mom said that was your first thing you had to say when the first message you sent my brother like what but yeah what if we couldn't get food stamps so what we would have been like homeless like Star we were homeless literally we, we would have never we didn't we wouldn't eat like we wouldn't like and at that time, I was still doing TikTok. Everybody, no, I wasn't. I wasn't really doing TikTok. I was doing, I was doing. I started doing YouTube at that time. Y'all can go back and watch my old videos. I was doing YouTube. I was living at my grandma's house, and y'all can see how happy I was still. I was still trying. I was looking over the fact. So, <sighs> right, this conversation is coming to end already. So, the last thing we're gonna bring up is the business stuff. Like we said, we had our guitarist customs business a long time ago, yeah. before anybody in the situation had a business. So. This person hits me up whenever they wanted to start their business and was like, hey, um, what do you use? Or, hey, how do you do the shipping label? Something like that. And, you know, me, I love to see people win, especially if you're me close too. to me. I love to see, mm -hmm. even if you're my biggest enemy, if I see you winning, I'm going to clap and I'm going to be proud for you. Even because though, you're shitting on me. Like, shit like, on me. If you want to do anything, shit on me. Literally. If you so, want to get, get, uh, get back at me, shit on me. But do it right. Yeah, so Do it right. I'm I'm a genuinely respectful person. I'm happy for everybody, regardless if you don't like me or not. Oh, the dogs. I'm always happy for somebody. Where's Pixie? So, hold on. Let me call my mom to put the Pixie in because. Just her. She's chilling. Okay. I'm watching her. So, anyways. Um, when I when that person decided to start their business, they hit me up talking about how do you do the shipping labels or anything like that. And I offered this person because you know we're friends, we're cool, and I love to see people win. Like I said, so I offered this person. I was like, hey, I could go to your, I could go to your house or whatever. I can help you pack orders. I can help you with the business stuff. Like just let me know because I already had a business. So this person starts that business or whatever, and then I had started how my do, you do the website. Yeah, so I had started my you? crystal shop at that time, and I y'all are talking about. This person invited me into their house, showing me all this stuff. I never once went into this person's house until later on in the friendship. Like, literally. Mm -hmm. So, for people, some, that's why I, some somebody is saying something. Because it's like, what are y'all even coming up with at this point? Like, y'all just all, I don't know if somebody said something or if y'all just talking. But I'm bringing this up because when I had my business... My crystal shop, I always gave this person bracelets and stuff like that. You know, not so they could sit here and post me and I could get sales. Because, baby, I had the sales all by myself already. Because he thought genuinely she would sit there and support him. Like, she supports other businesses. Other random businesses. So, I wasn't tripping. I wasn't like, I gave you those bracelets, post, post them. them now. I didn't really care. But it low-key got to me. Because I'm like, how am I your number one supporter? Y'all seen those TikToks. Like, I'm pretty sure if you search us up, there's TikToks of me at an expo with this person sitting there at their pop-up, helping them sell this and that. And me being this person's number one fan. Our when, family went out to support her, too. 
literally, and it's like, you've never once supported me in my business. I've never got a tag. Like, you've never, I gave her stuff, and I never expected money back she for it. She would wear it. She, she would wear it. Him. You could literally he go to TikTok. He made her a. I was starting a new clothing jacket. brand. She's never worn. I was starting it. a new clothing brand, and um, I told her, "Hey, baby, you post like, this for me." And it's not like it's not like she she get small businesses don't pay her to post. Exactly. So it's, so it's not, not like, like you're doing it for the check. For the check. And it, even so, even still, this is your best friend. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's so pure. And he acts. He he didn't expect it because he would what he would do for her, but it's like I mean the least you can do like is tag somebody. Um, like even whenever I post a picture on Instagram, I was never getting reposted. I never really cared like that. Oh yeah, she like never that. reposted one of my pictures. Even like, whenever but we're any other girl, it's dying. Okay, let's make it fast. Okay. This is the end any of the video. Any other girl, already. she already posted whatever this that which <laughs> this is like. Okay, we don't like we said we don't care about the social media stuff, but it's like. How are you sitting here posting random people, supporting random businesses and stuff, when you never even supported the people that was close to you and like you said yourself, you were grateful for and stuff like that. Like you've never showed appreciations yeah. besides saying thank you and hugging and stuff um, like that. And then the whole people saying that um, we stole from her. No, she's talking about her other friends. The whole, um, the whole uh, people saying um, that I ran through. She's talking about this other girl she was beefing with recently. Um, the whole, what else was she saying? I don't even know. Um, a lot. She was saying, oh, I have to write it in my notes. Oh, calling the cops, calling the cops and calling the cops and stealing was the whole, the, y'all know exactly who, what I, I don't know if y'all know exactly, but the people she was friends with before us. Um, and then the whole wrath situa situation that y'all keep talking about, she recently was beefing with this girl and she was talking about her. She was talking about me. Um, so that's all I have to say. We could literally continue going uh, we, on. I don't, and know, how long, stuff, I don't know if we're gonna have to make another video. I don't know her response. I don't know. Um, we we try. I'm pretty sure we left down. some a lot of things out. Mm. We try letting this die down. But like I said, this is a raw video. We didn't have time to think about nothing. We just want to clear our name at the him, moment, especially because he he is taking this serious. The platform stuff. Um, Not only so, that, Eliza has degrees and stuff behind her yeah, name. Exactly. I have certifications. I'm going for my license. Like I have stuff behind my name too. And when people oh, search us up on Google, we don't want any of this to sit here and reflect us. So yeah. if people were to sit here and, and search us up, we want to clear our names. We're telling y'all. And she, um, y'all, whenever she was trying to like start stuff with me, or whatever, she knew I wasn't gonna give her a reaction. I don't know if she knew, but I was giving her a reaction. So what did she do? She sat there and she started beefing with the whole family. Somebody's whole family on TikTok. Okay, and she couldn't get to me, so she started beefing with the girl that's ran through. She couldn't get to me, so like I don't know, but from whatever, the get go, you know? this but, person's been sneaky but, dissing. Yeah, she's been sneaky dissing. She's because sneaky even though dissing. she's on live saying this is not directly to anybody. Because whenever whenever y'all sit here, whenever y'all talk about her on our live, we I feel like to this day I still tell y'all like shut up already, like like what are y'all even talking about? Like whatever, you know, I don't even address address it. I don't even y'all bring up y'all bring up her name, I don't address it. While we were friends too, I don't even address it. She gets mad because if somebody addresses a comment about her, but this one wouldn't have blown up if she didn't address a comment on live about us. About me, supposedly. So it's like and then she wants to text my brother, I expect you to delete the videos. Y'all see the screenshots for yourself. What do you mean you if expect? somebody let's has go through your TikTok and let's expect these videos to be deleted too. And y'all saying like, oh, she's not saying this, she's not saying that. She literally posted what she used to say about me, um, but she deleted them. So that's it. There's no proof of it. Um, I didn't give a fuck to screenshot it either. If y'all have the proof, please post it. But um, other than that, I don't know how further this is gonna get into it. We thought we were, we thought it was died down, and we took a nap. After woke the up. after the text, we took a nap, woke up. Somebody's calling me, Eliza, blah blah. blah. Um, she's responding to all these fan pages it's like, um, it's like a lot of time on the hand like i wish and it's like what like, you just said we were good like like pick, pick one pick one just pick one if we do you want to entertain good, or we you don't good, like you know what i mean but um i think that's the only thing that i have to say i'm already frustrated with this situation this situation is just like a waste that's of my said, time yeah. i could be i could be inside making my money right now i could be inside doing so much other stuff and yeah, we're in this car making this video. So this is the end of it. If it continues, we'll continue to keep going as well, showing proof and all that. And if this problem never gets resolved, oh, and, and, we and, have and, evidence, and. we have everything, and we'll mm -hmm. gladly take this to court. She's and we'll trying fight to everything blackmail out. me after my brother said, "Don't bring my sister." She's trying to blackmail me, saying stuff that I said about Jamie. Uh
Okay, so the camera died, so I went inside and got another a little battery. She's gonna start talking about the whole. I'm only saying bringing up Jamie because because we're it's threatening black, black to be Jamie. exposed, blackmail, everything, and and y'all bringing Jamie into this as well. And I'm gonna ask Jamie if that's okay for whatever. I post we post this, but she's trying. She's bringing up old text after after she died, after she just said Mind she wasn't you. worried about me. She's gonna put the the thing the recording after she just said she wasn't worried about me. Um, she's like she sends screenshots of our old text that we used to talk about Jamie. Well, she only put me. She not put in what she used to say. Wait, she's um, been at beef with this girl for no no, no reason. No, that's a whole different. That's a whole different whatever. Um, but so yeah, so then she's trying to make. Sometimes you know she's gonna post the screenshots or whatever. But I mean, we could post it ourselves, like we whatever. Don't care. Um, <clears throat> but all of that is because she was my friend. I was sticking up for my friend. Obviously, Jamie understood that. Jamie understand understands that. Um, and she even whenever me and Lena were still friends, and um, I was around Jamie. I was only around Jamie because of Rosa. I would not talk to Jamie. I would not. Jamie would talk to me. I would look at her stupid because why are you speaking to me? My like my friend doesn't like you. Uh, but Jamie understood that but Jamie didn't want to make it awkward and so me and Jamie finally talked about it And she's like, you know, what? I understand like it's because of your friend or whatever I'm like, yeah, I'm so sorry about that baby because I would have been that would have been your friend I would have been talking to you and I would have been Jamie is so pure and she's so, so sweet pure. So sweet. I love her. We love Jamie literally the reason why I got unfollowed and y'all oh, The reason why I got unfollowed is because I posted Jamie. We got unfollowed because we, po we posted Jamie's picture. We reposted it mm. and I was hanging out with her, which is like expected for me. It was which expected is expected. For me. Okay, it's expected. For but me, me was expected, but hey. I had we had went to the club. I had seen Jamie, whatever. You know, we said hi or whatever. Even though she knew the situation, she was still kind enough and brave enough to say hi to me. I could easily be my girl, but the way she came out to me and the way she said hi to me as a person, that told me everything about Jamie. She's so sweet. You could just. I'm yeah, big so on I need energy. To stop coming for her. I am big on energy. Like we said, we're gonna text Jamie to make sure this is okay to post. Make sure she's good with it, but. I checked right before I posted Jamie's picture if I was followed still, followed still. Posted it within 10 minutes, unfollowed, a word has never been said or anything. Oh, but yeah. this person goes on live saying, I unfollowed you because you were over here trying to be friendly but you were like sneak dissing and yada yada. Uh, girl, I just posted one video and that video wasn't even towards you but a general post to somebody that is guilty. Oh, and well, then I have something literally. to say because she, as soon as she unfollowed me, the first thing she posted about me was how you claiming that you're happy, but you're not even where you want to be at in life. You don't, you're not where you want to be at in life. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. But, um, that's like situations that I told her as a friend and she's like throwing it in my face, but whatever. This I'm person, this person in general has never valued our friendships. That's why she said that I was being weird because I was a bigger person and I told her I feel like you don't value our friendship screenshot right here I feel like you don't value our friendship and then she goes and talks shit I'm not gonna deal with her whatever but you don't have to deal with me you, you could have just said that instead of being weird instead of sneak dissing instead of this instead of that <clears throat> no but I'm just gonna ghost them you know I don't have time to talk because people, people know what they're doing I'm just gonna ghost them like, baby, well, I came to you as a like a friend and I told you like you asked me what was wrong and I asked you what was wrong and then I'm the bad person like what the fuck so this video has been we've been recording this video for quite a while now I'm already like I said and we're probably gonna add, whenever we're editing it or like putting the proof into it not editing it but putting the proof into it we're probably gonna sit here and have more stuff to say to add on so um if we if we're in a whole different setting that's because we just had to add more into it because like i said this is raw this is coming from the dome from the dome so so anyways i hope this is the end of it because i literally do not want to continue this continue because it's like i didn't even start i didn't get started i didn't continue i didn't even do nothing like i didn't even get mad at josiah i'm like josiah why are you entertaining why why now i'm in the middle of it like why and he's just like because like I have a name for myself and I'm just like okay I understand but that it's now. not it's not even only that I posted a general post that is literally just like it, she's posting general general posts. Posts just like stuff. she's posting it's not about one person it's about multiple people just like she's doing just like she's doing we didn't text her I expect you to I expect you to leave it I expect you I expect you world demanding like baby okay Prince Charming okay Miss Princess there's so much stuff y'all our dms are flooded it's been flooded ever since this person's got on live the first time sneak dissing 
and we've been getting Kate. We've even been whenever getting she says threats. something, even though she said, when she, whenever she says something right after she follow unfollowed me, but whenever whenever she, whenever she unfollowed me, she was still seeing this before that. But I still didn't say anything. I I gave it time. I'm like, well, maybe she's gonna stop. Whatever. No. There she goes going on live talking about some this and that like they're trying to live a lifestyle that they don't have whatever we don't even claim that we're all that i can like, even put pictures in here though i've been with anything, a designer anything, i've been had all this before if anything, so like y'all can say that about josiah because that's that's how he gets his money because y'all feed into it me y'all can't even say that shit about me baby i would tell y'all if i'm broke i would tell y'all if i have money i would tell y'all if i'm struggling i would tell y'all like I, nobody could ever cancel me nobody would ever expose me like i will sit here and i i tell y'all shit like i talk to y'all i don't hide nothing i feel like that's why i have like a lot of people that like me that are like on my side because they're like what the fuck like i don't even give a fuck about none of this shit like you know what i mean like y'all really some of y'all really truly know like how i am so yeah but I, think I guess that's it right now. I guess it's the end of the video. Depending on how the situation goes, I'm not responding to no text no more, mm -hmm. because like you said, we can handle this respectfully, and it got kind of resolved, and it was I thought that was it, but you're still sitting here trying to keep entertaining it. I don't know exactly what you're doing, but it's like, and I didn't. Y'all know honestly why I didn't want to say anything, because I'm like, I don't want to say. Like I would, I would, I would ask like the people close to me. I'm like. I don't know what to do like I don't want to be ugly I don't want to because you know like I, I don't I'm trying to change myself I'm trying to I'm actually trying to change myself I'm actually trying to like heal I'm actually trying to you know like the old me a couple months ago me oh baby you already know this shit would have been like done Crazy. and not done but like already adjusted but um like uh I'm like I don't want to say anything because she's doing it for a check Okay, hopefully this is this is the end of the video. Like there's I don't I don't know. This is the end of the video. Thank y'all for watching. Do whatever the heck y'all want to do with this information. I don't care. But we just had to clear our, our side names. of the story. Um We really? clear we cleared our names, so let's 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 see if this wants to continue or not. Um yeah. Bye.